Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I have a special request and I totally missed it. So I wanted to make sure I got it out of the way. It's Baby Yoda off the mat. And he is a small character. So we're doing off the mat, but not crazy off the mat. So let's go and um, I've already uploaded the files. So I'm just gonna click on these two. It came with three images, but I'm going to move it in here so that you can actually see it. And I wanna talk through it. So it came with three images. It came with like a black background. It came with regular Yoda. And then it came with one where it was just the outline of the black. So this is what I think we should do. So let me move this over. So if you look at just this one, it came with just this. And this one doesn't have the black background. So let me show you what I mean by that. So when you scroll down, it's like the jacket's kind of sitting by its, or the, the head. The head is just sitting there. It's one green piece and then it's the jacket. So nothing is, you're, when you're piecing, if you only do this one, you're piecing it together and you would probably have to tape it from the back because there's nothing to tape it onto. So it's sort of like if you think of doing like a, pus a puzzle, there's no backing, right? So you're sort of just piecing all the, uh, the the pieces together and they're attached, but there's no background. Like there's, whereas normally when I do an off the mat, like the ones you see behind me, there's a bl solid black background. So all the colored pieces go on top. So you can either use double-sided tape and then you can move everything together once it's on this solid black background, which is this little guy right here. So I definitely prefer to have a solid black background, even if it's not an outline. So in this case, it's not an outline. You're not gonna see that black at all. The black is gonna serve as um, like a, a dish. Everything's going on top of it. So it's one solid piece. And I kind of like having it that way because with off the mat, when it, I mean, obviously by definition, you're doing more than 12 by 12. So you're doing more than 12 inches. Um, having that extra uh, layer just makes it sturdier and easier to handle. So I definitely prefer it. If, you, if your file does not come with a solid black background, this is how you would get it. You would take your current piece Okay, and you would duplicate it and then you would weld it. So if it did not come with a solid black background, that's what you can do. And so you can see there's your background piece, right? It's literally this piece right here. Um, and then you can just change the color. So let's delete that for now. So let's look at this piece for a second. One of the things that I see that is problematic is these little hairs right here. So let's scroll in so we can see it. And you can see it up here. Now what's funny is this is the black background, but look at the black background. You can tell this is the one that we're in because it's um, like a dark gray. It has all these little pieces. Like, why? <laughs> right? Who wants to keep track of that little dot? This, I mean, this file is a, I would say it's a little, little weird. Um, I would definitely take this black background piece, grab it, and I would weld it together so that all these little hairs and whatever, it's now one piece. So you, you can see it all disappeared too because now it's a single line item. So you see this is, this is our black background. There's still a lot of pieces that you can see in, in the colored piece. Um, this has a lot of pieces. So we're gonna need to work on that as well. So let's zoom out for a second. Let's look at our little Yoda. So let's zoom in and see what we talk through this a little bit. So the hair, these are all individual pieces. Um, the eyebrow is an individual piece, the little nose and the mouth. So <clears throat> here's my take. I think that we should do a darker green layer and basically have it underneath the face and then the light green layer is gonna have, instead of this being a piece, it's actually gonna be sliced out of the light green layer. I think that's gonna be the easiest thing so you don't have to deal with a nose, a mouth, the eyebrows, and the little hair. So this is how we're gonna do it. Um, 
Okay, so these are all the little pieces. So let's grab all these little pieces, okay? And including the eyebrows, and what is this? These are the long pieces of hair. So we're grabbing all these things, okay? Because they're right now they're like 18 different little pieces, okay? So we're gonna grab the nose, the mouth. So all of this we've grabbed right now, okay? We're gonna weld it. When we weld it, those however many pieces, let's say it was 15, they are now consolidated as one piece. The reason why we wanna do that is now, because when we're, we're gonna slice it out, okay? So let's grab this and let's grab the green face. Oh, hold on. Oh, we need to ungroup it first. So let's grab this and ungroup. Okay. And I think that's good. Okay, so here's the face, right? And then here is all the stuff that we just welded. So technically it's two items, so we can slice it out. If you did not weld it together, you would have to slice out one hair at a time. One hair, one eyebrow, one nose, one mouth. I mean, we would have been, or I'm sorry, not welding, slicing. We would have been slicing about, you know, 15 times. So instead, we grabbed everything, made it, consolidated it by welding it, into one image. So now we have these two items we're gonna slice. Um, did it, okay, it's slicing. So now we can get rid of the slice results. So we're gonna delete all this stuff. Okay, so now let's move this back for a second. Um, arrange, send to the back. So now this is what it looks like. Oops, don't mind me. Um, it's white. So here's our choice because this is now, let's go back out for a second. Let's move arrange, send to the back. This is now our back layer. So because we sliced out, I'm trying to match it up here. Because we sliced out the hair and the eyebrows, it's now gonna show through our black background. If you like that dark green, this is what I would do. Um, I would duplicate the face. So take that green and duplicate it. Here it is, right? Um, I would make it dark green and then go to contour and we're going to hide all. Now the hair is still going to be black. So watch. So this is what it's going to look like now. Let's arrange and send it, move backwards. Oh man, okay, so let's move this. So you see how you can grab this? These are the layers. So let's move this, keep it down here, it should scroll. Let's move it behind there. Oops, let's move the, So now you see how it's dark green is showing through. So it's going to look like that. But the hair isn't because the hair is not an enclosed surface. It's a slit in the in the paper. So it's going to be black. If you're okay with that, then we're good. If you're not okay with that, this is how you would do it, okay? So I know this is a lot of what ifs. It's almost like reading a book and you're deciding um, your next step. Okay, this is not hard to do though. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna, we wanna weld in these little slits so that the dark green will show through behind, um, behind the light green. So what you wanna do is you wanna unlock it and you basically want to mimic this shape right here. Okay, T 
to me, that's probably good enough, but you can just, you know, make this so that it fits like that. Okay, grab these two items and weld it. It's going to then enclose all the hairs. So you see now, it's not perfect because you still have a little bit of the slits, so your black is gonna show through right there, but this is what it would look like. And let's move this. Remember, we want it we want it behind, so let's move it all the way down. Okay, so this is what that's gonna look like. So let's grab, oops. Let's grab this and this and move it. Where's my mouse? There it is. So it's gonna look like Oh, my black is showing through, hold on. Okay, so you see now the dark green, you can see it through the eyebrows, through the nose and the mouth. That's how you're gonna do it, okay? So now let's um, make this smaller and let's make this 18 inches. We kind of worked around it. It's, oh, you know what, it was already, it came in at 18 inches, but it is wide. Because of the ears, it's almost 30 inches, so this is why I haven't done Baby Yoda in the first place is because there's not, he's light. Um, there's really not a good way to hide the seams. You're going to basically have to slice off the ears. It's going to have to be in three pieces. Um, I mean, that's it. There's, there's no way around it. What you can do is you could probably slice it where the pink is going to go through, but there's just nothing, nothing I can do for this guy. He's so green up here, he's a light green, and we have to slice him because the ears and the face is just so long. There's just nothing that we can do, okay? So know that that's, that's gonna happen. Okay, now let's look at the rest of this piece, okay? So, um, so this, is gonna be this is gonna be a layer and then you have this layer below so what I would like to do with this is I would grab the two layers because this is big right it's 14 inches by 11 and a half so I don't want to slice this in half and have um, seams running through it. What you can do instead is you can grab these two items, grab the two and go to a line and make sure that they are centered and then I would slice it. So what's gonna happen is you're still gonna have this top layer. Uh-oh, what happened here? It should have just been two pieces. Very interesting that it gave me these three, but this is just the way the designer did it. So I'm gonna put all three layers here and let's align these three to make sure that it's thick and the way it was designed and we'll weld it together. We'll weld it back together, even though I don't know how it sliced into that many but okay, so here is our outline. And if you made this um, like a glitter green, it'll be nice because you won't see the, the seams at all. So I would probably split it like just right here so that seam is tiny, tiny, tiny. Okay, now this, this will sit in there uh, without any seams. So we're gonna need to break this up though. So it's one, two, three, four pieces and it's super close together, right? So let's make four copies of this and we're gonna contour. When you use contour to separate out pieces like we are in this case, um, however many pieces you want is the number of copies you wanna make. So we want four copies of this total and it looks like I only have three. So let's duplicate one more and then let's go to contour. So we're gonna hit contour and hide
it all, it's gonna leave us the top piece, okay? So here's this piece. It's 6.8 by nine, so we can cut that on the Cricut. It will be seamless, and it's gonna go in here. And it's gonna look great because it, like I said, it's gonna be seamless. Um, I think this was a different green, so let's, I don't remember, not that green. Let's just make it a different green so that you can see the, whatever color it was before, okay? I'll have to go back and look at it. Let's um, contour, click hide all, and it's gonna always default to the top piece, okay? But we already have that piece, so I want this piece and not this piece. So we're selecting and deselecting. So here's this piece, right? Here's the other side. Then let's go and contour, hide all, and then I want this piece, not this piece. And so you have this one up here, right? And then you have your last piece, contour, hide all. When you click hide all, it always defaults to the um, top piece because if it literally hit all, the whole image would disappear, right? So when you hide all, it always defaults to the last, to the top one. Okay, we want this piece, we don't want this one. Okay, and there you go. So now what you can do though, is you can go to color sync and you can move the colors here as well. So this is the shirt, right? So I'm gonna move it to up here, although now it matches, matches his back layer of the face. So you're gonna have to mess around with the colors. I'll bring it in one more time, don't worry. Okay, so this one, let's slice this up though because it's too big. It's almost 14 inches by 11 and a half. So let's bring in a square. Okay, so here's my square and I'm gonna make it big because I wanna slice it right here. This is gonna give me just tiny seams that no one's gonna notice. So I'm gonna grab these two items and I'm gonna slice so that I can break this jacket up into two. Oops. So here's the first half. So it's 11 inches by 7.2. So I can cut that on the Cricut, right? Delete all this stuff. You don't need, you don't need your slice results. And so here's the other piece. So you can see, look how tiny that is. No one's gonna notice those seams. So you're gonna put this together like this and then these little pieces will go on the inside. So that's gonna look really good. Okay, so now we have the black eyes. They're gonna look great. We're gonna have the little white of the eyes. That's gonna look great as well. And then his little hands. These are all pieces that the Cricut can cut, so it's gonna look great. The only part that's not gonna look great is his face because you're gonna have some seams down there. Um, so we're gonna move, we're basically moving everything out of the way. Now for this piece, okay, we have this, right? Um, what is this? What are those little things? I'm gonna delete those because they're so small. I think it's like a little speck of the eyes. That's too small for me to deal with. Okay, let's talk about this green. We want this green because we want it to be in the back to show through where all the slits are, right? But we don't need the ears. So we're just going to take a square, okay? And we're just gonna slice, slice off the ears. Well, first let's put this here, arrange center to the front so that we can see, let's, Oh, you know what, we don't wanna send it to the front, sorry. Let's go back there, arrange, uh, send to the back so we can see where the slits are, okay? All right, so let's put down this first square and go to your layers. We have the square here, right? Hit your shift key and then scroll down to where his, um, let's see, where his face is. Here it is, we want the dark face, so hit shift and grab the dark face, the dark green, and slice, because we can only slice two items at one time. So even though the light green is on top, if we don't select it, we can slice it, even though it's right there. 
so we don't let's see we, yeah we don't need this ear we don't need the slice results so we can get rid of this so basically what we have is this is going to sit underneath right so we're going to slice off this ear so let's take bring in another square so this way one you don't waste paper um yeah, we, we just don't need it. We don't need the, the dark green ears, right? Because it's not going to show through anywhere. So it's just a waste. So let's grab these two items and slice. And then let's make sure that this piece, so this piece is 9.4 by 7, and that works. And then let's bring it to the back and make sure that we sliced it in the right places. So yeah, so we can see through the the eyebrows and all that. So that's gonna be the dark green. So that's gonna look good. Let's grab these two items. We don't need it, let's delete it. Okay, so now all of our pieces almost are all cuttable <laughs> on the Cricut, right? All these pieces. The only pieces that are not ready to cut on the Cricut is this because it's almost 28 inches long. So we're gonna need to slice it up and then the black background. So, um, let's do the ears first. So like, again, like I said, it's, there's nowhere good to slice this to hide the seams. Um, the only thing that I can think that would work well is use a light green glitter cardstock. It will definitely hide the seams a little bit better than just a light green cardstock. So, okay, so here's this. We're going to grab this two items and slice. And it's a little slow today. Um, all your slice results, we don't need it. So this piece is now nine by four and a half, basically. So we can cut that on the Cricut, right? And then we're gonna bring in another square and slice this ear off. And how long is this? This is, so maybe we can slice it off maybe closer to where the ears are, where that pink piece is gonna go through. So you could do something like that. Grab these two items and slice. And let's just make sure this middle piece is within size. It's a little bit over, but look, we can twist this a little bit, rotate it, and rotate it a little bit more. Oh no, maybe it's not gonna work. Yoda, you're killing me. All right, let's undo that for a second. Don't do that. It's still a little bit too long. So I'm gonna undo it and slice off a little bit more because it was really close. So I'm gonna move this over a little bit more and then now slice. Okay, so now this is 11 inches by six by seven. These things we don't need here. And here is, so you're gonna have the seams there. You're gonna have this sitting on top. Let me move this to the back. So, have this this will hide the seams a little bit not really because you're still gonna see it but that's kind of what it's gonna look like okay okay so now that we've dealt with everything now we have this piece back here this piece is not gonna show through at all so we just need to slice this up so that you have um, pieces that you can cut with the Cricut we don't have to worry about where the seams are gonna be because everything is gonna be covering that Okay, so let's build our little um, squares, our flush squares to slice this up. So bring in your first square. We're gonna make it 11 by 11. Technically you can cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, right? But I, I don't like dealing with half inches. So we're gonna put one right here. Let's duplicate it. Put another right here. So this first square, 
Let's go and round to the nearest whole number. So 19.7, we're gonna make it 20. 7.6, we're gonna make it eight. So what we're basically telling Design Space is go over 20 units, go down eight units, and here's the start of our square. So the X is the one running across, and the Y coordinate is the one running up and down. So when you place this next square, we're good, if you place it close enough, you can just round to the nearest whole number. So 31.1 becomes 31, 7.9 becomes eight. And I'll show you the math behind it. So this one, your X coordinate is 20. Our paper is 11 inches. So the tip right here is gonna be 20 plus 11 is 31, and it's at 31, okay? So let's bring in the next square. And you want them flushed because you don't want, one, you don't want any gaps, right? And two, you don't want them to sit on top of each other. You want them to go just right up to each other so that you can tape it. It is so much easier to handle the pieces this way. In this case, the black isn't showing, but when there is a black outline, when they're flush, it's easier to hide the seams that way because then they go right up to each other and then you tape it. Okay, so this one, we're gonna round to the nearest whole number. So it's 42 and eight. Now what you can do is you can grab all the three squares by hitting the shift key, select, select, and then duplicate because you have three flush squares and now you don't have to redo that whole exercise. You can just make sure that this pair matches up with this, this pair. So this is going to be 20 and 19. Okay, so now you have that. So let's scroll over here. Let's go get our... Yoda and arrange, send to the front. And basically we're slicing him up. Um, let's slice somewhere like this because we want big pieces, right? So it's gonna be ear, face, ear, and then his main body and then a little bit of his, of his arm over here. So we don't need this square at all. So since we don't need this square, we can just delete it grab one square and the image at a time and slice. Then I'm gonna do this piece and slice. Then I'm gonna do this side and slice. And then one more, I'm gonna grab this right here. Okay, so let's move out our black pieces to make sure that everything sliced up properly and that did not. So let's grab these two items and slice. That should work now. Did it? Okay. So, did it? Here's our ear. This piece still did not slice. Did this piece slice? Okay, so I'm gonna grab these two pieces and it didn't let me slice, okay. What is going, oh. oh, okay. So this piece is connected a little bit right there. So we should have moved the seams over. We should have moved the image over just a little bit. So just make sure that you don't have it where it's touching right here. So it looks like it's a piece when really it's two pieces. So this, this we can easily do. Um, okay, let's get rid of all these pieces here. It is very unlikely that you were able to duplicate what I just did because it is just like a millimeter over where it should be to create this ridiculousness. <laughs> so I'm gonna delete all of this. If you happen to have made that work, this is how you can separate these two pieces. You take a square and you're gonna make it big and you're just going to put it right, you're gonna slice it right at that midsection right there, okay? So let's grab these two things and slice. So now this piece, oh my gosh, did it not slice? Okay, it did. Okay, so this is 11 now by 9.9, .9, so 11 by 10 basically. And then this piece right here is three by seven. So it goes like this, this goes here, and then this goes 
So those are your pieces, okay? All right, so let's grab these things and delete. Hopefully you did not have to do the, that step because it was so rare to get it right at that point. Okay, let's go to the make it screen so you can see what it looks like. And I always, because I end up using a lot of glitter cardstock, I always try to move things really close to each other to make it really efficient. So this piece is fine, obviously. Here's our black, so it's a big piece, right? Here's our other black. Okay, um, I think we can consolidate a little bit. So let's see what we have here, maybe. Okay, so I think this piece, click on the three dots, let's move object and let's consolidate it with sheet three right here. So here we go, we select that one, confirm. So it's gonna move it over. Just make sure that you know we rotate this so that it doesn't overlap at all, so that it doesn't cut into your piece. So I think we can move this up here pretty, okay. And let's see if we can move this piece over. So we're gonna click this, hit the three dots, move object. And let's see if it fits at the bottom right here. Okay, so rotate your piece so it's laying flat. Oh good, and so we ended up saving a piece of cardstock. So your black is actually gonna be three sheets and then you have, okay, so this we don't need to deal with. <laughs> we can make this a little bit more efficient. We can either do something like this this is not very efficient but that's it's better than what we had because if you're saving this cardstock you have a big chunk right here and a big chunk right here that you can use for next time here is the other piece of the ear this one i would probably do something like this So that's good, so that next time I have this big chunk that's easier to reuse. Okay, so here is our green. Um, I wonder if we can, uh, I don't think we can. So it's gonna be on two sheets. Here's our green face. Um, here are the ears. Okay, so definitely the hands can go with the ears, right? So you can move the object, move it over to the rest of the ears, and just make sure that this goes, you know, in a place that's not going to over, overlap and cut. Same thing with this piece, you select it, hit the three dots, move object. I mean, you have this chunk here that you can save for next time, or you could rearrange this a little bit better. Um, and you know that you can rotate this like. You could do something like this. And then maybe move this one up here. I mean, it's however you want to do it, but then that way next time you have this chunk here. And if you move this one, I mean, I could probably do a better job up here, but then maybe you can have this chunk down here. Okay, here's our dark green. And I don't think you can do anything about that, but that's it. So there's your baby Yoda. I hope that was helpful. This file is funky, but you're gonna get that because every designer is different. So, and you have so many sites to buy it from. Some files are definitely better than others. And this one had a lot of manipulating before it was more usable um, but I hope that was helpful even if you don't make baby Yoda I hope you picked up some tips so that next time you encounter something crazy like this you can go and fix it um, all right so this was a special request so please let me know your special request um, and I will walk you through your tutorial so see you next time post your comments feedback questions
Bye, guys.